Mama, take this badge off of me. If you are an artist who works in a democratic country, you are far from military action, and you have never met censorship of your art. You should probably consider yourself lucky. Fortunately, directly banning works of art become less common today. But in the recent past, especially in totalitarian states, the freedom to create art and express one's views on political, social, and global issues is a risky endeavor. Most artists today are accustomed to this freedom and do not even think about what could happen to them if they oppose the status quo. Having no restriction on presenting an artwork means a clearer path to the audience. But do you remember the last time something shocked you? Can you really define art as radical if it still does not meet with criticism on its way to publication? But how can the artist shape the audience, make them think about important topics such as war and social injustice, or provoke empathy for other people's misfortune, when the visual space around us is filled with all sorts of influential images? As graphite can stand out from the busy urban environment, the same goes for your Facebook and Instagram feeds, where thousands of images pass before your eyes. The irony is that the lack of restrictions took away the power of art to shock. Free distribution has led both audiences and artists to underestimate the ability of art to be a conduit for ideas. Art has become more a product than a carrier of spiritual experience. The audience began to doubt more and more the goals of the artist, whether they are fighting for the spirit of humanity or popularity, likes or monetization. I lost all the family members who stayed in Ukraine. One of the questions we ask ourselves today is whether art has the power to provoke a reaction in people that grows into action, or whether its function is to reflect the world around us. Can art be a weapon, or is it just a mirror? How active and how passive is his role in shaping public attitudes, or can it really shape public opinion? How do people react to art pieces that express opposite of their views? Do they make them rethink their beliefs or make them even more sure in themselves? Sometimes even the message becomes twisted by those who do not understand it. After the Russian attack on Ukraine, performers around the world began to show their support for the victims of the war in order to criticize Russia's political regime and call for empathy. One of the main goals is to draw attention to the fate of ordinary people, victims of the war. But to what extent does art provoke real action in the viewers? At least half of the viewers are watching safe in their homes, away from the center of the war. The mass media shows scenes of violence on a daily basis and the effect of the accumulation of these images is that instead of increasing the empathy, people began to accept them as a movie, as something distant and unreliable. Today we encounter more doubt than empathy. Is there misinformation and propaganda? Definitely. And artists are part of it, no matter how much we want to deny it. Art is used to reflect not only the voice of the people but also the rulers of the day. What will be preserved from art today, we cannot know, because history is always written by the winners. There is and always will be art in praise and reproach of the same leaders. Toni Morrison says all art is political and this is the opinion of most critics. But can we agree with the other part of the statement, and the ones that try hard not to be political are political by saying, we love the status quo. If everything around us is destroyed and all we meet is violence, we need some kindness and hope to lean on. A promise, that it will all end. Painting flowers is not praising the status quo, but a reminder of that what the world could be if we choose peace over violence.
very often art that follows pacifist ideas or deliberately distances itself from specific ideologies is condemned as ignorant and toothless during the war. In the same way, extreme political art is the subject of mockery during a peaceful time. Art makes it possible to plant an idea in a person's soul, but if he is not ready to accept it, it will not develop. Art can be propaganda, but we as spectators must sift for ourselves the good from the bad seeds. But one thing is for sure, artists should not be afraid of criticism. And if you live in a place where the government restricts the artist from reflecting the opinion of society, then people probably need that art the most.